and welcome to a special edition of the Hobo and his girlfriend. Yes, we have one speaker phone today. Hi, sweetie, Hello. how are you? I'm good. Yay. You know what's, you know what's happening this weekend? What? The Super Showdown Down Under. Cool. That means there's going to be a lot of shrimp on the barbie and Foster's. Because Foster's is Australian for beer. Because you're a Shayla. And I should bust up the. Down under? Yep. Because we come from a land down under. Da -na -da -na -na. Remember that song? Yeah. Men at work. Do you like Vegemite sandwiches? What? A Vegemite sandwich. Oh. I guess no. <laughs> I've heard interesting things about Vegemite sandwiches. It's like their like version of our peanut butter. Oh. So. Well, let's talk about some wrestling, because this is the Super Showdown. Because for some reason, the WWE does like to make a lot of money. And I would like to thank everyone for watching. And please like, share, comment, and subscribe. That always helps us out a lot. It's nice to know that people are watching. So let's start off. Let's see, let me center myself. There we go. And are you ready to talk some wrestling, sweetie? If I have to. Oh, yes. Yes, I do apologize. I'm running a little bit late. Had to get to work today. Get back to work. How about Tom? But, but let's go into the wrestling, okay? Okay. Okay, so the first match for the, for the 205 championship, we have the champion, Cedric Alexander. Versus the native from Australia. Wah, 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 buddy Murphy. So, I'll be gentleman-like. And you pick first, sweetie. There's an Australian guy. Yes, excellent choice. You do want to have someone from your hometown go over. The crowd has a reason to cheer. I shall also go for Buddy Murphy. Next we have, for the SmackDown Tag Team Champions Championship, the New Day versus The Bar. I think The Bar is going to win, and they're going to keep the Tag Team Division and SmackDown really interesting. What do you think, honey? I think the other team will. The New Day! Cause, because, because do you believe in pancake power? Uh-huh. The power of pancakes. And then we have even Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair! And this is for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship held by Becky Lynch right now. Who do you have? I'm going to do Becky Lynch. Yes, Becky Lynch, I have a funny feeling, is going to retain all up until Evolution, which I want to say is in November, I think. Or is it later this month? I forget. If not, we'll just have another prediction to do. Yeah, unfortunately, I guess I did something I shouldn't have done. I think I played the vinyl a little bit too loud for the mix for that. Sound. Okay. 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 Uh oh. Reverb. Here, let me just alter things here. 
There we go. There we go. Uh, say something, sweetie. Hello. Okay. Yay, that 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 works. Yeah, the microphone has to be turned up a little bit. Again, this is the hobo. I do apologize for that. But seriously, you chose Becky Lynch. I also think Becky Lynch is going to win. Cool. So let's go on to the next match where you have John Cena and Bobby Lashley taking on Kevin Owens and Elias. Here, you chose that one. I say the faces are going to win. And that would be John Cena and Bobby Lashley, because you do want some star power to win. So we're going to defeat Kevin Owens and Elias, and Leo Rush is obviously going to be in Bobby Lashley's corner. Who do you think is going to win, sweetie? So that would be Kevin Owens, who is still a tremendous heel, and Elias, who is becoming a tremendous heel, especially after the way he got booed for like seven minutes when they were in Seattle. My most beautiful, amazing girlfriend, just imagine people booing me for seven straight minutes. No. That will never happen. Wow. I have more faith in wrestling fans than I do, sweetie. And that's why I love you so much. And then, here we have our next match. We have, again, from the land down under. Of course, I have to do the Bushwhacker Walk, one of the best tag teams to ever come from Australia. One of my favorite tag teams of all time. Oh, yeah. Well, well, we'll have the iconics of Billy Kay and Peyton Royce versus Asuka and Naomi. So it's your turn, sweetie. I love you, Naomi. Asuka. Because I don't know. Yeah. I'm kind of torn on this. Because Peyton Royce and Billy Kerr from Australia, I can't see two. I can't see two Australians winning. They do want to get some heat, and you never know what Billy Kay might pull. She she might get some hometown heel heat. Saying, I'm glad I'm not fast Australian. Forces yes. That'll get some really nasty boos. That might be worth a 10 minute boo. It'd be like someone at Bush Gardens like booing Bush beer. So. Hey, but when it's free at Bush Gardens, it's free. Free beer? Wow. Yep. Last time I we'll went there, I think, back. Charged, I think Last time I went there, I think they charged like $9 for a cup of beer. No, I remember going there and it was free. Hear that, YouTube? Free beer at Bush Gardens. Or at least free Bush beer at Bush Gardens. Well, let's get back to wrestling. So then we have, uh, we start, we start kind of the Schmalls matches. We have Ronda Rouse and the Bella Twins versus the Riot Squad. I want to see the Riot Squad win. I just don't like the Bellas. Like the Bellas. And Ronda Rousey, as long as she's not the one eating the pin, like you could have, you could, you should punish Brie Bella. Brie Bella eat the pin and have the Riot Squad go over. we we'll have Liv Morgan pin, pin Brie Bella. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win, sweetie? I'm going to go with who you picked. Riot Squad. Led yeah. by Heidi Lovelace, also known as Ruby Riot. <clears throat> you didn't hear that first name. That was some distant cousin. Then you have The Shield, which includes Roman Reigns, 
Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose versus the Dogs of War being Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre. Your turn. Ron, Dolph, uh -uh. not going to happen. Braun, Dolph, and Drew stood tall at the go-home show. They're going to want the crowd to cheer after the Iconics lost. So I say the Shields may be more teasing going on between Dean Ambrose's heel turn. We shall see. And the next match for the number one contendership for the WWE Championship. We have Daniel Bryan versus Awesome The Miz. Even though the The Miz stood tall by beating on Daniel Bryan on SmackDown, they could still I'll say Daniel Bryan's gonna win. How about you? I'm going to go with one that you're going with. Daniel Bryan. Yep. I think if the WWE was smart, they could really prolong this and have it go really till WrestleMania. Give Daniel Bryan and The Miz their WrestleMania moment. They still have a whole bunch of pay-per-views, especially the big ones. The Royal Rumbles in February or January. Survivor Series is in November. So they can do a lot. Of and then we have the man who encompasses the powers. I can't, I can't do the Undertaker voice. But we have the Undertaker. Versus Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. And you pick. When do the Undertaker? The powers of dark. I can't do the Undertaker. I can only do Paul Allen. So, so you choose the Undertaker. The Undertaker did Tombstone Triple H. I think this is going to be the Undertaker putting over Triple H. I say Triple H is going to win. And then probably was going to be the second to last match because probably the Undertaker and Triple H will main event. You have the phenomenal AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. You can also do a pre. So I think AJ Styles is going to win. This is a no DQ match. Should be really fun. This should probably be the flaming young match of the card. How about you, sweetie? Love you, AJ, too. Yes, I can never go against AJ Styles since I saw him in his car. Remember that time we went to SmackDown and 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 the guy who looked like AJ Styles pulled up next to us? Uh-huh. And I said, 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 hey, that looks like AJ Styles. I looked at you, I'm like, hey, look, that, that, that looks like AJ Styles. I looked again, I'm like, yeah. wait a second. That is AJ Styles. Uh -huh. And then Charlotte Flair was behind him because I'm like, hey, look at that sparkly robe in the back seat of that. Why would anyone be driving with a big sparkly robe who looks like Charlotte Flair? That's Charlotte Flair next to us. Woohoo. But do but you know what my all time favorite wrestling moment was, sweetie? When you met Joey Ryan. Uh, yep. Yep. Remember that because that, you know why? Why? That was the first wrestling show I ever took you to. Oh, uh, okay. You saw him. He, he's a guy with a with a lollipop in his trunks. Oh, uh, that guy. Uh, Okay, and that's it for our predictions. Again, this is for a Super SmackDown. Again, if you disagree with us, please leave a comment. Or you can send an email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. 
please share, comment, like, and subscribe. And and well, a little bit less than 90 days, I'll be back live streaming. I mean, I don't do any any other bad stuff. Maybe. And then maybe one day we'll have the hobo and his girlfriend live streaming. Yes, 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 yes. Right? Sure. Also, probably on uh, just some minor programming notes, probably on tomorrow, I'll put up my Lucha Underground review. And thank you for watching. I'm Hobo Tom. And have a good, fun, happy, safe. You know what today? You know what tonight is, sweetie? What? Red wine and pizza Friday. Oh yeah. Woo! Hey, okay, thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.